What's up, everybody? Welcome to my MMA cheat sheet video for UFC Sacramento. Uh, kind of a big letdown going from UFC 239 to this card, but regardless, there is money to be made as always, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, we've been killing it lately. Uh, last week went very good. Uh, I was a Luke Rockhold win away from taking down the 20 max uh, GPP. Uh, unfortunately, Rockhold did not win. Uh, Blackowitch. Hasn't knocked anybody out since 2010, and then uh, Rockhold moving up weight classes. Uh, figured it would help his chin a little bit. It did not. He looked pretty bad. Um, got knocked out fairly easy by Black of Witch, so I was very surprised about that. I was very high on Rockhold. Um, a lot of people were as well. He was 50% owned in GPPs, and then 80% owned in cash, so it didn't kill me. Um, I made up for it in my cash, and then my single entries did very good, and then uh, I had some good GPP lineups as well. So it was a very profitable weekend for me. Hopefully you guys had a good profitable weekend as well. Um, excited to get back out there and, and make some more money. Um, before we get started with the video, if you guys can leave a like on the video, that'd be awesome. And also, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Um, we are on Patreon. I'll put the link in the description. If you guys aren't on that, you're going to want to get on that pretty soon. Uh, we've been killing it lately um, ever since we started this up. Uh, the cash lineup cashed. Very easy. Um, so that's seven out of the eight times we've given it out. It's cash and that's 88% success rate. Uh, so you're, uh, it's only $5. Uh, and with that $5 for MMA, you guys get, uh, my cheat sheet with all the stats you need. Um, so if you're pick, if you're like really close between a fighter, um, you want to pick one and, but you're, you're not really sure. Uh, just look at the stats. Um, that usually helps me out. And then also projections on there, uh, which are very useful. And then my targets page with all the targets. And I, I do add um, add players throughout the week. So if you're on Patreon, you'll be able to access that. Because uh, I, I don't do all my research by when I post this video. I usually do a little bit more research after I post the video because there's, there's just so much. Uh, so if I, if I miss something, um, I'll put it on there. Um, so that so that's something that's good as well. And then my cash lineup so that's cashed 88% of the time. The last time it hasn't cashed was the Dos Anjos Lee card. That was about like two months ago. So it's been a while since my cash lineup hasn't cashed. So it's been on fire. Uh, and then my lineup percentages. So you see who I'm high on and not so high on. And then my bets uh, that I'll be betting this week. Um, I'll be posting my bets, the lineup percentages, and the cash lineup all sometime tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's $5. Um, I'll put the link in the description. It's a very good deal. You can't get that deal anywhere else. Uh, put $5 in a cash lineup, double it up. You get your money back right away. It's about $125 per card. There's just uh, no deal that even touches that. Um, so just something to look at, and uh, the link will be in the description. Um, so let's get started with the video. All right, I'm going to quickly go through uh, these fights. Uh, if you want a more in-depth breakdown, I'll be posting a video on my channel, Thundernut DFS. And then also on that channel, I'm going to start posting uh, prediction videos. I'll have one for the main card and then one for the prelims. Um, I'm either going to start that this week or next week, but um, just something to look forward to, Thundernut DFS. Uh, I'll be putting the link in the comments. But I said, I'm just going to quickly go through these uh, fights here. All right, so on the left, if they're bolded, those are my picks to win. Uh, as you can tell, this week is the week of the underdog. Um, I thought last week's card was hard. This card is going to be probably a little bit harder, I'd say, GPP-wise. Um, I think cash is going to be fine. Um, but yeah, GPPs are going to be tough. Uh, I think the winning lineup is going to have a lot of salary left on the board. Uh, so don't be afraid to leave salary left. H have a little bit of salary left. Um, I've seen it before where, like, there's been like $500, $600 left in the winning lineup. So I think the winning lineup's going to have some salary left. Um, it's weird. There's like there's like very few plays where you're like, oh, yeah, that guy's going to win for sure. Uh, usually we get a couple of those. But um, I do have a, a lot of picks I'm fairly confident in. I do like a bunch of underdogs. So it's going to be very interesting. And, uh, and yeah, I'm very excited. So Benito Lopez versus Vince Morales. Uh, going to go very light on this uh, very first matchup of the night um i do like Benito lopez here uh he puts on a good pace uh great accuracy 42 percent um i just think he's better and i think he's getting a little underrated here uh this fights a lot closer than the line indicates here 
Uh, let's see where it's lined up right now. They have they have Benito Lopez at a, as a plus one twenty uh, underdog. I feel like it should be more so a pick 'em. Uh, so would I pay eighty five hundred for Vince Morales? Probably not. Uh, I'd rather go for the dog at seventy seven hundred. Um, I do think he has the best chance of winning, and I, I do think this should be closer to a pick 'em. Uh, I'm not going to go too heavy on it. Maybe a, a couple lineups with Benito Lopez, but he's my pick to win. Uh, he's a nice dog play as well. Okay, uh, this is interesting. Um, La Via Renata Souza versus Brianna Van Buren. And it's crazy. I've, I'm seeing all these people on uh, Van Buren, and I just don't, I just don't understand. Uh, I think there's a lot of recency bias going on with Souza uh, in her fight with Froza, uh, Sarah Froda. Um, she was supposed to go out there and just um, basically destroy Froda, but she didn't. But uh, what you guys don't understand is Froda came in and she weighed in like five, six pounds overweight. Uh, and that does make a huge difference um, for sure. So, um, yeah, we were expecting Souza to, to absolutely destroy Froda, but she did come in overweight. Uh, I think Souza's getting a little uh, disrespected here. Um, I do like her to win. She's uh, very good on the ground, so even if Van Buren does take her down, I think that's what a lot of people are banking on. Uh, Souza's fine off her back. She likes fighting off her back. So um, I like Souza. I think she's going to be very low owned due to the fact that uh, she's a plus, I think it's plus 130 underdog right now. Um, so I, all these people are going to go for the line value on Van Buren at 8,200. Uh, so I think we'll get Souza at a nice 15, 18% around there in GPPs. Uh, wouldn't touch it in cash though. Uh, Pinyon Liu versus Jonathan Martinez. Very close fight. I'm picking Pinyon Liu. Um, does not have good volume. I think Martinez is going to come with more volume here. Uh, super close fight, man. Let's see where this is lined. Um, I believe... Uh, yeah. Martinez is a plus 125 underdog. Um, man. Yeah, I'm picking Lou to win, and uh, it's very close. So I'm probably not going to play too much Lou on DraftKings. I think he might be able to get a knockout. I don't know, but this is very close to me. Uh, feels like a 50-50 fight, and 8,700 is absolutely insane. So if I was to play this, I'd probably play Jonathan Martinez, although I am picking Lou. Um, I don't think uh, Pignon will pay up for that for the 8,700 price tag. Uh Probably if in a win, it'll probably score around 60, 70. I just think there's better options. Uh, so it's definitely going to be dog or pass on DraftKings, but I am picking Lou. Um, Elkins versus Ryan Hall. Very interesting fight. I've heard a bunch of different takes from everybody. Uh, Elkins, the wrestler. Hall, the submission artist. It's going to go two ways. Uh, Elkins is going to either want to wrestle Hall and take him down, uh, which I, I don't suggest, or they're just going to fight on the feet. Um... But I see more so Elkin's going to try to wrestle Hall, which is going to play right into Hall's game. Hall wants to be on the ground. He's a very, very, very good submission artist. Um, and I think I don't think Elkins can survive three rounds not getting submitted here. I like Hall a lot here at 8,300. Uh, submission upside. Uh, maybe first round, second round submission. But um, I think Hall does get the submission. Um, and if this does play out on the feet, I think it's going to be closer than a lot of people think. Um, Hall is not an awful striker, but, uh, I think he can get this to the ground at one point. And when this does get to the ground, uh, I think Hall's going to try to look for submissions and, uh, it should be shortly over shortly after that. All right. Um, Julian Pena versus Nico Montano. Um, 7,200 for Montano. Uh, I like a lot here. Uh, although I am picking Pena. Um, but, uh, they're both coming off like two year layoffs and, uh, Montano is the better striker on the feet. Uh, Pena is better on, on the ground. So the striker versus grappler here, I don't think I'm going to pay that $9,000 for Pena. Uh, I'd rather go, uh, for, for the dog here at 7,200. Uh, she put on like, she landed like 140 same favorite strikes her last fight against Roxy Modafferi. So. If she can't put on that pace, that'd be awesome. Uh, we don't know how uh, Juliana's going to look. So um going to be very low owned on this fight. But if I was going to play somebody, it would be Montano. Uh, Feely versus Marias. 
picking Feely here, uh, he's going to have the more volume. Uh, Mariah scores off on DraftKings. In his wins, he scores like 50 points. Uh, I like Feely here. He's going to bring the volume. As long as he doesn't get knocked out, I think he wins this fight. Uh, go for takedowns. Uh, take Mariah's down. Mariah's takedown defense isn't awful, but I think Feely can still take him down. Uh, he's a nice double leg. Uh, work that double leg. Get him down a couple times. Uh, out volume him. I think I like Feely a lot in this spot. He's uh, one of my core plays. Uh, Mike Rodriguez. Mike Rodriguez versus uh, John Allon. Uh, Mike's my favorite play, number one. He's 9 to 400. Uh, this fight's not going the distance. It's it's uh, it's going to be ended in the first or second round here. And I favor Mike Rodriguez to get that done. Uh, John Allon's coming in on like a one, two week notice. Um, so I think Mike Rodriguez is going to knock him out. I'm going to have Rodriguez in a bunch of lineups. And I can fit him in a bunch of lineups because of all the dogs I'll be having in my lineups. Um, I'm not going to say I'm going to lock him, but I'm going to have him very heavy. Uh, Marvin Vittori versus uh, Cesar Ferreira. Very close fight. I favor Vittori just slightly. Um, he is going to bring more volume. Uh, I don't think he's going to sub Ferreira. Uh, if anything, uh, Ferreira is going to sub Vittori. But uh, Vittori does have that 67% sub um, percentage, so I don't think that's going to happen here. Uh, Ferreira has, I believe... Really good takedown defense. Uh, yeah, uh, Ferrer has a 90% takedown defense, so I don't think Victoria's going to get a takedown here. Um, I think Ferrer is going to try to take down Victoria. Um, if Victoria's uh, takedown defense holds up, uh, he'll be he'll be fine. He'll win this uh, decision. Uh, I want to say he might get a knockout. Ferrer's chin's very bad, so I don't mind this as a GPP play, Victoria. Um, probably have a couple stabs of him for sure. And then uh, Carl Robertson versus Wellington Terman. Uh, I like Robertson a lot. I like him to get the knockout. This fight, again, is not going to decision. And uh, a lot of fights in this card are going to decision. So you're going to want to target this fight one way or another. Um, if Terman can come in with a wrestling game plan, get Rob Robertson down, uh, Terman's not bad on the ground at all. Uh, he can very well submit Robertson. So I'm probably going to play both sides of this fight. Uh, Terman more as a punt and Robertson more as a GPP play. Um, this fight's not going to the distance. It's going to end in the first or second round. Uh, so I'm going to want to have exposure to that fight for sure. Um, Rashad Bektic versus uh, Josh Emmett. I like Emmett here. I like him to win. I just don't think uh, Bektic is going to last three rounds with Emmett. Emmett has unreal power. Uh, and if Bektic wants to pressure Emmett, that's playing right in, into Emmett's game. That's what Emmett wants, and Emmett's going to knock him out. Uh, 7,400, I'm going to have a good amount of him for sure. And then uh, Ricky Simone versus Rod Faber. Uh, Simone, just a very safe play here. Um, I like him in cash. I like him in GPPs. Just uh, my most confident pick on the card for sure. Uh, that's pretty easy there. And then Jermaine de Randame. Uh, versus Aspen Lad. Um, I see a lot of people on uh, Lad here. Uh, I don't really get it. Um, Eight thousand nine hundred uh, in cash. I think you can stack this fight, but uh, I'm leaning towards um, the random uh, because of her striking is way better than Lad's, um, and uh, she hasn't been taken down in like her past twenty two. Uh, the past 22 times she's been trying to get taken down. She hasn't been taken down. Uh, Lad needs to get this to the ground, and Lad gets most of her takedowns from the clinch, and uh, that's where uh, Dave Random is the best, right in the clinch. Um, so I just don't see how Lad's going to win this fight. I like uh, Dave Random a lot at 7,300. Uh, if Lad does get this to the ground, it's going to be interesting to see uh, if Dave Random can get back up. Uh, I hope so. I'm going to have a lot of her. Uh, as of lad, maybe a couple in GPPs, but I, I just like Deranime a lot more. Um, I think she can even finish lad. Uh, lad was getting pieced up a little bit uh, by her last opponent, uh, uh, Sahara Eubanks, and uh, Deranime is a lot better than her. So um, if she lands clean on lad, I think she very well can knock lad out. Uh, I have a lot of Deranime, especially in cash. Gonna have her in cash for sure. All right. Okay, so here's my uh, targets page. We got my core plays, Mike Rodriguez, uh, Ricky Simone, Jermaine DeRandome, uh, Andre Feely, 
Uh, just my most confident plays here. Uh, Philly is my favorite underdog, uh, other than your man here. And then uh, Simone, my most confident pick. And then Rodriguez should get a, a first round, second round knockout. And then GPP, Carl Roberson, the knockout upside. Uh, Souza, I think she's getting disrespected. Uh, a nice GPP play at low ownership. Uh, Bektich, uh, 8,800. Uh, if he doesn't get knocked out by Emmett, uh, he very well can win. I just don't know. I don't know how much he's going to score. I don't think he's going to knock out Emmett. So I think there's better options, but it's not a bad option at all. And then Ryan Hall, uh, submission or bust. Um, yeah, if if he gets that submission in the first or second round, he he can easily hit value there. Uh, if he doesn't get that submission, he could even win a close decision. Uh, so I do like Ryan Hall quite a bit as a GPP play. Live dogs, there's a bunch of them. Josh Emmett, uh, Ferreira, Martinez, Elkins, and Lopez, all live dogs, all have a shot of winning here. Um, mostly going to use uh, Emmett, Ferreira, uh, Feely, uh, and then um, maybe some Benito Lopez a little bit, and then maybe a little bit of Elkins, and uh, Martinez isn't a bad play either. And then Fades, Rod Faber, um, I don't think he's going to win. Uh, he's like 40 years old. I don't think he's going to score well. Uh, just an easy fade for me. And then uh, Shimon Marias, uh, he scores like 50 points and wins on DraftKings. So um, very low output. I think he's going to lose. So I'm going to fade him. And then my punts, uh, Wellington uh, tournament. If he does bring that wrestling heavy game plan, he very well could. Um, could get a submission maybe. Um, but I think he's going to get knocked out. And I, um, I do like Robertson to knock him out here. And then Nico Montagna, uh, lay, big layoffs for both girls. Uh, she's the better on the feet. Uh, so if she can stop those takedowns or even get takedowns herself, uh, she could win a decision. Uh, maybe get a lot of volume in there. Uh, she did land 140 strikes her last fight. So uh, just not a bad punt play here for Montano and then uh, Turman. Uh, well, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, you can follow me on Twitter, nut underscore DFS, and ask me there. Uh, make sure you check out that Patreon. The link's going to be in the description. Uh, get in there. The cash lineup, the um, the lineup percentages and my bets are all going to be posted sometime tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Um, but, yeah, very excited for this week. Uh, very excited to win some money. And uh, make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And also, if you haven't yet, subscribe. And then I will be posting a video on my channel, ThunderNutDFS. So make sure you check that out. The link will be in the comments. Thanks, guys.